Is it a burger? Is it a pizza? It's a burger pizza from Domino's Pizza, and I've got one. Look at that. A burger pizza. Doesn't get much more American than that. Howdy fellow foodie friends, welcome to Who's Your Daddy? Thanks for joining me. My name's Matthew, and if you like food tasting videos, if you like food reviews, if you like new recipes, or food challenges, or tasting unusual things from around the world, as well as the occasional travel video, make sure you are subscribed. Just hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So today, I went to Domino's where they have a new item. It is the cheeseburger pizza. It sounded really good, so I decided I had to try it and tell you what I think of it. So it was $14.99 for a medium 14 inch pizza, which comes up to $16.19 after tax. The large 16 inch was like $18 and some change, but I just got the medium because it's just gonna be for me and my wife. Now the website says that it is topped with a ketchup mustard sauce, American cheese, beef, onions, tomatoes, as well as uh, shredded provolone and cheddar cheese. So looks like they're really trying to capture that cheeseburger flavor. So let's give it a look. There it is, the cheeseburger pizza. Now, it actually smells a lot more like a cheeseburger than it does a pizza. I guess that's because there's no marinara sauce on it. It doesn't have any of those typical pizza flavors. It does have the flavoring on the crust, which if you haven't had Domino's crust, it's really good. It's got a garlic flavoring on the crust. So I don't know if you're a crust eater or not, but you should at least try Domino's crust. That is still pretty hot, but I'm gonna try to pull this out here for you. Oh man, that is cheesy. Whew. Look at that. I'll let you have the first bite. Mmm, yum. Look at that. that. That is loaded with toppings. Looks pretty good. So, let's just dive right in. Cheers. Wow. It's like messing with my mind a little bit. Like, I, it feels like I'm eating a pizza. I get the taste of that signature cornmeal on the bottom of their crust. So, it seems like it should taste like a pizza, but it really has that cheeseburger flavor. That's so weird. Now I had a fear that the ketchup flavor was gonna be too strong because I'm not really a big ketchup uh, fan. I prefer mayonnaise or mustard or barbecue sauce, any other condiment besides ketchup. I'm not really a big fan. So I wanted to try this the way they offered it. And it actually is really good that ketchup flavor is not real strong. It's just enough that it blends with the mustard and the beef. It really, really tastes like you're eating a cheeseburger. It's so weird. Now, let's see what the crust tastes like. See if that tastes any different. Okay, so that's a little different because like I said, they do have the garlic flavor on the crust. So that tastes more like a pizza, but mixing it with the burger flavors, it actually still mixes really well. I think it would be better dipped in something because I like to dip my crust in nacho cheese because I think that is the best thing to dip your crust in. And apparently, if you've seen some of my other pizza reviews, you know that Indiana is unique in having nacho cheese to dip your crust and your breadstick in. If you're from anywhere else in the world, you probably don't have nacho cheese as an option. You probably only have marinara. Maybe you might have some kind of garlic sauce or ranch or something, but you have to try nacho cheese. It is amazing with your breadsticks. I think it would be really good with this too. Now I will also give you a little hack. If you don't have nacho cheese at your Domino's or your local pizza place, get some nacho cheese from Taco Bell because that is the same exact cheese they use at Pizza Hut, which is really good on any kind of pizza, any kind of breadsticks. Very, very good. Mmm. So I told you I got the medium because it's gonna be me and my wife eating it. So I'm gonna take some into her and I will put her reaction in here right now. But I'm going to predict that she's not gonna be a big fan. She's gonna prefer regular pizza. I think she's gonna think it's okay. 
not amazing, but not the worst thing. We'll see if I'm right. Let's see her reaction now. Okay, here it is. This is the cheeseburger pizza from Domino's. It's got a ketchup mustard sauce with beef <laughs> and American cheese, cheddar, and provolone cheese, um, onions, and tomatoes. Just like eating a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And I'm not a fan of ketchup mustard sauce or ketchup and mustard, but the sauce is good. Better than I thought it was going to be. Nice. That's what I predicted. So, um, what would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? But it tastes like a cheeseburger. It does. It tastes just like a cheeseburger. What about the crazy. yeah? What about the crust? It's got a little garlic topping on the crust that they put on there. Mm. I like the crust. That's very good. Yeah, Domino's flavors their crust. Mm -hmm. So That's be, good. I'd eat that even without cheese sauce. Yeah, but it's it, it would be better with some nacho cheese, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's endorsed by Who's Your Mama? <laughs> All right, I hope I was right, I don't know. But it's time to give it my rating as far as all over value, all over taste, all over rating. I have to give it a nine out of 10. That was really good. Is it something I would order on a regular basis? Probably not. But as far as a novelty item, like something you get every once in a while, it's really good. I like it. I don't like traditional pizza as well as I do the specialty pizzas. Just like a, tr a traditional pepperoni cheese sausage pizza, you know, those are just okay. But when a pizza place does something unique and something special like this, I really like that. So this is officially endorsed by Who's Your Daddy? Make sure you go get yourself one if you are near a Domino's and tell them Matthew sent you. <laughs> they might know what you're talking about, but I doubt it. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can watch all of my fun, amazing videos. And I will see you again next time. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.